can I clarify what for many might be perhaps a little confusing? Which do you think is the preferential way of sorting out Kashmir? By pursuing the agreements that you thought you had on the back channel, which are essentially bilateral, or, or by involving Kashmir and these issues as part of AFPAC and regionalizing, which is the preferential way? Bilateral is better. These are semantics. We are talking of strategies. What needs to be done? We have to resolve. We have to bring India into the focus. What is happening in India and how is it leading to if creating effects, negative effects in Pakistan? Now that happens to be Kashmir and also the Muslim minorities and what is happening there. So now you are talking of details how we should deal with it. Well, if bilaterally we are making progress, let's leave it here. Yes, I, I agree totally that bilaterally it would be better to resolve the dispute, Kashmir, Kashmir dispute. My interest is we have to resolve the Kashmir dispute. Whether it is bilaterally, regionally, internationally, I don't care. Bilaterally is the best. But if we fail, then we, what we were doing initially, we were trying to internationalize the issue. We'll, Pakistan will have to go back to that trend then again in the future, I don't know. So I what, don't know what you're really saying to Indian audiences and to the Indian government, who no doubt will be listening to you very, very carefully today, is that if you had been today in Pakistan in Pa, you would have pursued the bilateral approach, you would have tried to revive the back-channel understandings, but if you found that there was no accommodating response from the Indian side, then you would have gone back to your original position of internationalizing Kashmir, and that would in a sense have also meant making it part of Obama's AFPA. Well, <laughs> I think we are going into too many details. Certainly, I have always stood for resolution of all disputes between India and Pakistan. Now, in that, the core dispute I have always said is Kashmir and also Siachen and, and uh, Sirti. And also water dispute is also coming up now. Unfortunately, these things should not, the new disputes should not be getting created. And now this solution of that has to be done. Now, whether it is bilateral or international, we were moving forward on the bilateral track. Therefore, I started moving along with it. There was a time when India used to say that it has to be, we believe in bilateralism. But bilaterally, when they, whenever they wanted to discuss, Kashmir was a no-go, absolute no-go. So therefore, Pakistan was left with no other choice than to internationalize So it. what you're saying is that the bilateral approach being successful depends critically on India responding correctly, yeah, yeah. positively. Yeah. And if India doesn't respond positively, then the bilateral approach can't be pursued. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. General yeah. Musharraf, let's end this particular part of the interview there. In part two, I want to talk to you about yourself, about your future, about the 10th anniversary of Kargil, as well as about the government in Pakistan today. That's the second part and the last part of this special interview with General Musharraf. But for tonight, goodbye.